we've been uh, positive on India for the longest time. Uh, you know, underweight uh, at the Chinese markets, uh, different pockets of opportunities uh, across different regions. Uh, we like some of the Latin American markets like Brazil and Mexico for different reasons. Um, uh, also pockets of Eastern Europe looking good, uh, leverage to the European, uh, Western European cycle in terms of the economy, in terms of inflation rates, consumer confidence. Uh, pockets of Middle East uh, look good. So pretty much a mixed bag, a heterogeneous approach to uh, emerging markets uh, rather than, you know, buying the index in a passive way because there is uh, a lot of lot of themes and uh, different drivers for different economies. Can I just quickly ask you something about Mexico? Because obviously, you know, the, the big key risk to some extent coming up later this year is obviously the US presidential election. Do you foresee, because Mexico has obviously been the beneficiary of a lot of China investment of late, they've obviously been able to take advantage of the fact that they're a, a chapter member of NAFTA. But if we were, if we were to see a, a Trump presidency yet again, that whole run that Mexico has been on in terms of that FDI coming in, do you think that that's at risk? Because you would have to imagine, considering all of the, the rhetoric that comes from uh, former President Trump, that potentially he might not necessarily look too kindly on that China investment trying to circumvent, you know, any kind of trade tariffs that he's looking to impose on China? You know, there could be a slight, uh, you know, sentiment impact uh, for sure. I mean, even if you look at markets post the Trump presidency, when Trump was elected, uh, uh, you know, if you look at Mexico, did underperform. But I think at that point in time, the macroeconomic conditions were not as strong as they are today. So today, you know, the, the fiscal situation, the current account situation, uh, even where the, the consumer confidence levels are, uh, how the economy has uh, really Trans become from a stable macro to a more uh, positive and accelerating macro, improving growth condition. Remittances uh, are being at an all-time high. So there are some differences compared to, uh, you know, that time when Trump, Trump came in terms of the overall market environment. And I, I think there could be a sentiment impact, but the story definitely has legs. Like Trump can't really, you know, impose tariffs on China and Mexico and and kind of really, you know, uh, uh, have everything on you know, on short. So uh, there has to be some, uh, you know, distinction uh, to be made there.